This is literally the best play in Madden 21. I'm excited to share it with you. Let's check out the video. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's YouTube video. Now, if you're brand new to the channel, maybe you've never been to any of my videos before, uh, my channel is all about how to get better in Madden NFL 21. We do that through tips and strategies, just like this video, um, that show you not only the plays you need to do it, but also show you some adjustments, how to run it. We give you offensive and defensive tips every single day on our YouTube channel. We do it four times a day as well. We do it at two o'clock, at four o'clock, at six o'clock, at eight o'clock PM Eastern time. We also live stream every single night at um, 10 o'clock PM Eastern. So if you're interested in getting better at this game, I would highly, highly encourage you to go ahead and click the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. All right, guys, I'm so, I'm just like blown away. I'm so, 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 so excited today to share this video with you. Uh, and the reason why is because you are going to like blow people away with, away with this offense. This offense has been undefeated in weekend league. A lot of people have been using this um, in money games and things like that. This is my New England Patriots offense. And I want to give you a sample play for this. Now, if you want to get the full ebook, the link is in the description. If you want to get a sample formation about this offense, all you have to do is text me. My phone number is 812-216-3644. You see it in the top left-hand corner of your screen. It's also in the description. So if you want to follow up and learn more about this offense and run the full scheme, which I truly believe is the best scheme in Madden, and it just got better today, with the release of Michael Vick uh, into Mutt. Now, uh, I have Patrick Mahomes booted up to show you this. And to be quite honest with you, it's so much better with Michael Vick. The way this play works is so powerful with Michael Vick um, and with Deion Sanders. Because Deion Sanders has the playmaker ability. And the playmaker ability is the perfect ability to mix in with what you're going to be able to do. So, enough talking. Let's jump into the video. If you like it, if you want to pick up the ebook. Links in the description. I would greatly appreciate it. And I really believe this ebook will teach you everything you need to know about offense. The ebook has over 300 pages. We break down over 36 formations, including the Patriot Heavy, uh, including several, several things that are really, really effective in this game. We start as our core offense with trips tight end, U trips, and bunch. Those are the three main uh, formations. But anyway, let's let's jump into this. We'll first start against man working in zone as well. Um, real quick on your roster, you want to put your fastest receiver in this slot position right here. If you have a tight end apprentice, it makes it work even better. You don't have to have a tight end apprentice for this specific play, but for the offense, it does help to have a tight end apprentice. Um, your next best receiver, um, your best release, like best press release guy here. And then your best like route runner, fast guy uh, right here. The play we're going to be going over doesn't look like much. And to be honest with you, I kind of ignored this play for a long time in trips tight end. But the play is levels. Now, if you're running this with Mike Vick, you want to flip it um, so that it goes to the left side. Um, but we're using it with Mahomes, so we're going to go to the right side. Okay. And it doesn't matter what hash you're on, but in a perfect world, you would run this the trips receivers through the wide side of the field. So we would be on the right hash for this. Um, but again, it doesn't matter what hash you're on. Now, the adjustments for this play are pretty easy. You're going to take the back. You're going to put him on a wheel route. You're going to put Travis Kelsey on a uh, little um, uh, delay fade. Okay. So the wheel route to the running back, so that means you don't have to have any abilities right there to run this play. You really don't. Um, for the rest of the offense, you might want to have some. It just helps it work even better. But again, now this glitch is not going to work as good in practice mode as it is in regs, but we showed this glitch earlier today. We showed it. Um, this is what J wall was doing. Basically what you do is you motion this guy over and what you'll see is they'll, they'll kind of follow, right? And then when they get over here, you're just going to put him on a streak and then you're going to snap the ball. The problem is, um, or you're going to motion to the left and you're going to snap the ball before he can go in motion left. The problem in practice mode is you can't really do that. So we showed that today in our, our video. If you want the video, if you didn't see it, just text me and I'll shoot you the link to show you how to do that in game. Uh, just know that that option is there. But what you'll see with what's going to happen is that streak will glitch out man coverage. So if they're running man coverage, really your number one read is the streak. But because we can't show you that, um, and I'll just show you, I'll kind of show it to you without showing you, uh, obviously, um, what's going to happen is when you flip it like this, whenever you go in motion again, essentially what's going to happen is this guy, Alexander, is going to go guard either the tight end or he's going to go guard circle. Most of the time he goes in guard circle. 
And then this guy, uh, Sullivan, is going to be guarding uh, Tyreek Hill, which you can't really imitate that uh, with the way this is going to work. So, but just understand that that's going to happen if you run it like this, if you run this little glitch. So, again, you just have your same routes, um, your same routes here. But what you notice is if they're in man coverage, obviously no one's guarding Tyreek Hill, so you can hit that against man to man. That's only if, that's if they're running man coverage in game and you run it the way we showed you to today. I don't want to spend a ton of time on that because it's not even the most important part of this play. It's just one little wrinkle that can make this play even better for you. So the next thing that's going to happen with this play is here's your setup again. And your next read is the running back hot. Uh, he's not open, so then you're going to move to the left side. Now, once you move to the left side, one of those two routes should be open every play. And, and honestly, 90% of the time it's going to be um, Sammy Watkins quick. Um, and we'll show you the zone in just a minute. But primarily when you're facing man coverage, one of those two routes on the left side, um, either the post route or, as you see right there, Sammy Watkins is able to get separation. Okay? And, and I didn't put Hill on the streak. But you want Hill on the streak. Um, and, again, you don't want to put him on a streak until he's on this side of the field. And then you're going to put him on a streak real quick, motion him to the left, and then go. Obviously, with practice mode, I can't do that. Um, I can't do that. Uh, but in game, you'll be able to do that. Okay? So just so you know. And, again, you got to be clicked on to him for this to work. So I'm clicked on to him with circle, put him on a streak, and then let it go. Okay? So everything else has to be set up. Now, uh, McCole Hardman's route is going to beat man to the inside. As you see right there, he's getting wide open. So you have two man beaters in that. You have the man beater in the streak um, when you motion over, as long as they are playing, you know, specific defenses. The other thing is, let's say they base a line, but let's say that they do this, where they run like a cover one. Um, maybe they do something like this, right? You know, they have they feel real confident in their corners and da 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 da, da and you do your man, uh, your your streak, right? You'll see here, once Tyreek Hill gets even, he's leaving. So that's a bomb against cover zero. If they're running cover zero, that's a bomb. Wide open, touchdown. If they press him on the outside, he's going to get over it and he's going to burn it over the top. Okay, so you have those options if it's man-to-man -man coverage. Now, the last option against man-to-man -man coverage, actually, there's really two. Um, and it's going to be hard to show you in this video. Um, but I showed it yesterday in a Playmaker video that I broke down. Basically, what you're going to do is you're going to essentially playmaker this route, to Sammy Watkins, open. Um, that's why you want to have a you want to have the playmaker ability on that receiver in mutt. So that's where Deion Sanders is going to be if you have him in mutt. If you don't have Deion Sanders in mutt, they'll be there will be bringing out some more playmaker type receivers um, next week. But basically, what you're doing is is you're going to hit that route to Watkins, and essentially you're going to if it's man, you're going to playmaker him to the left. If it's not man, you're going to playmaker him up. But it's not going to, you can't see that in this video. You'll have to watch the gameplay to see that see how that works, or to watch the playmaker tip. But basically, that's a play that route becomes a playmaker option. So you have that as well. And then last but not least, and honestly, probably the glitchiest part of this whole play. I guess this is truly like the most powerful play in Madden. It's my, I will run this play. I will probably, honestly, I will probably run this play 90% of the rest of the season. It's how good this play is. This is the, the best play in the game. It's the all encompassing play that just, I mean, it just kills every coverage. Um, that under route when you have a playmaker on it is the best route in the game. Anyways, that I want to show you the delay fade. So you have an escape artist, Michael Vick, right? Pocket breaks down, you roll out. Once they chase you, just release that tight end, and you see he's going to be uh, going upfield, and he's going to be wide open every single time. Um, it doesn't matter. And and let me get, let me just get on the safety um, just to show you this pass rush. Um, but basically, like. You're, you're essentially, you're going to roll out, but you want to roll out and kind of, you almost want to roll backwards and it sounds crazy, but it, you want to like sit here, make your reads. Okay. Nothing's open. Roll out and backwards. You see, they're going to chase me and I don't know what, I don't know what Travis Kelsey was doing, but once the guy that's guarding Travis Kelsey chases me, that's when this thing, uh, can go. And it's even as good as this is against man. Uh, it's hard to tell how good this play is against man right now, but you'll see it once you put all the videos together. And if you have any problems with this play, text me. Okay. If you want to sample to the ebook, 
text me. But what you'll see here is I'm just going to roll out, okay, roll out, and then release them right there every time. So once you Playmaker, um, once you Playmaker um, Watkins, which if that's Deion Sanders, you're going to be playmaking him to the left against man. So he's going to get completely out of the way. But let's say it's, you know, let's just say it's Watkins, right? So you come over, playmaker him, nothing, playmaker him, nothing. Release the tight end, throw it at the last second. And with with Mahomes in regs, it's it's almost an under um, underwhelming how good this is. But what you'll notice, I'm, I promise you, you will notice this. If you do this in Mutt with, with Vic, um, again, wait, 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 wait. Playmaker him up. And then, gosh dang it. The practice mode pass rush is, is the dumbest thing in the game, in my opinion. Because it's just it's just unrealistic. Uh, with the back, you could you could block the back too. Um, you just you really need to get you you have to get the back out of the way. That's the bottom line. You've got to get the back out of the way. So you almost want to kind of come here. Playmaker him up. Now get out here, release him. And let me show let me just stop worrying about the playmaker and just show you the route because I'm not going to be able to playmaker uh, just because of Sammy Watkins doesn't have playmaker ability. So if you're playing regs, um, there's there's still you still could run this play and it's still going to be effective. You're just not going to have the playmaker aspect of it, which is fine. Um, you don't even need the playmaker to be honest um, with this. Just roll out and you're going to either hit the in route or the post route coming across, you can hit either one of those, which is really nice. Um, and then what you can also do is you can hit this route to Travis Kelsey. Now, if you wanted to, you could leave Tyreek Hill on that streak on the left side. You don't have to bring him over here. It's just if you want to take advantage of that, if they're if they're base aligned, I probably wouldn't. I'd probably leave him over there on the streak. But just roll out here. And then they chase, release him up, throw it. And um, this... The practice mode pass rush is doing an absolute uh, travesty to what I'm trying to show you here because it's just making it so dang hard. The practice mode pass rush is, is not realistic. It's not what's going to happen in the game. You're not going to get these crazy instant wins and instant sheds, um, especially if they only blitz two or three people. Um, but this is like the perfect max, max coverage killer. You roll out, blitzes, throw. That's what I'm looking for right there. Okay, so that's your man option. Now, against zone coverage, let's talk about zone coverage, right? Everybody loves zone coverage. And I think you're going to see a lot of zone coverage. Now, um, what you're going to do, same setup, nothing changes for you. Everything's the same, except if you know it's zone, put Tyreek Hill on a fade instead of a streak. And what you'll see is if it's cover two, you can throw that um, kind of. <laughs> you can normally throw that to the outside quick if you have gunslinger. If you don't have gunslinger, you can't make the throw. That's why Mahomes threw a pick. Um, if it's on the short side. So, you know, honestly, like, if you're on the left hash, you know, this this could be really, really good. Um, this is where the one example where trips. But just throw it right there. See that right there? See, that's what I'm looking for. Just a quick snap throw. If I see cover two on the right, I can throw that ball. That's all I'm trying to show you. So, that's cover two. Um, and you have that beater against cover two. Now, let's say you don't want to throw the beater against cover two. That's fine. Then what you're going to do, your next step is to look at your running back. If they're not playing hard flats, throw the ball. Take your five yards. If they're not playing hard flats on the running back, throw the ball. Every time. Every time. Every, 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 every time. Okay? So now, what's going to happen is, those are a couple quick reads that you can have, but let's say they're covered. This levels concept on the backside, in my opinion, is the best way to beat zone in the entire game. It's the most simple, simple route possible, but it's so dang effective. This little in route... Sammy Watkins is going to get wide open against zone every time. The next thing is let's say that you roll out. Okay, let's say that you roll out. So you set this up. And honestly, like, you might just want to, like, swing the back. Maybe you don't want him on a wheel route. Maybe you just want him on a swing route. Okay, I can see an argument for both. But basically, you're going to roll out here. And what you'll see is this post route is wide open to McCole Hardman. Wide open. And you can hit it at multiple points. It depends on what the defense does as far as how they defend it. Cover 2 is going to do the best. Like stock cover 2 is going to defend the best out of any coverage. Because the cloud flat is going to drift back a little bit. But what you'll see from this. And again, I'm just trying to get the back out of the way. So it could, you could put him on a wheel route. But you know, honestly, for the whole thing, you might just want him on a, on a 
I'll show you him on a wheel here. But basically, when you roll out right there, that's what you're looking for. That little window right there. You hit it. It's able to be able to beat the coverage. Now, what about cover three? Everything's pretty much the same. Whoops, I'm motioning the wrong guy over. Um, everything is pretty much the same here. So uh, I'm going to bring McCole Hardman back. Now, we haven't even gone over this, the delay fade. The delay fade is going to be open every single time against zone coverage as a late read. While you're rolling out, you're, you're seeing um, typically their user is going to go to the post. When their user goes to the post, then you're going to hit your delay fade. So you have that option. But anyway, let me just show you this against cover three. Wheel route comes around, and you see you're still able to hit that sideline read. Now, I don't necessarily like the fact that there's two players running in the same vicinity. So that's where, that's the one thing, like, where I could say, that's why I can see the argument for putting him on a swing route as opposed to that. The one issue with the swing route is, um, I'd probably rather, like, a shoot flat. But you see right here, see how he gets over? When you roll out with the quarterback, and I know I'm really excited. I'm just really excited to share this play with you guys. When you roll out with your quarterback, um, you'll see that the coverage kind of drifts away from him. And that's that's where the power of the escape artist is really going to help you. Um, because you're going to be able to do that rollout. Um, you can smart route this route. You'll see he'll turn it into almost like a slant. I don't know that it's necessarily more effective if you do that. I would just leave it as it is. Um, but again, if you think it's zone, um... I mean, gosh, it, it, it doesn't matter with the back. You could, I would just put him on a shoot flat if you have backfield master. See how the zones come up. Once you roll out, the zones are going to kind of target the quarterback, and then you're able to take that uh, post route. Uh, let me show you this against cover four, too. And what's really cool about it is no deep blue is going to take that route. They're going to have to user it. Roll out, same thing. They come up, pass lead that up, click on. It's a sideline catch every single time. Right, every single time. So that's cover four, cover three, cover two. What about like cover three Mabel? Okay. Cover three Mabel. I'll show you that. The whole middle of the field is going to be wide open against cover three Mabel. Okay, just telling you that right off the bat. So the next thing you need to know about cover three Mabel, really you're going to take either Watkins or Kelsey, or while you're rolling out, hit that post right right there. See, see how he's coming into a window because they've already because they've shifted these backs out so much and they're spot dropping spot dropping them this is going to open that space up for you to be able to throw the football so same setup nothing changes and again i can understand if you want to put the running back on a wheel a swing or a shoot flat any of those three routes will work for what we're trying to accomplish okay so again roll out and I can hit that route to Watkins as well. Both routes are now able to be thrown. So that means they're going to have to user one of them and pass off the other one. Now, let me show you the last thing and probably the best piece of this. Against all of these coverages, all of these coverages right here, you're going to be able to hit your tight end. If you see zone, just release him. You don't even have to wait. I don't know why he's not going out. Sometimes he'll get caught up in like a block. The one thing I would say is like if you just slide protect away from the tight end. So like right here, put the tight end on a delay fade, maybe slide left. You know, that makes kind of sense basically. But you almost, you know, really what you're trying to do is just you see zone coverage. Okay, get out. Let him go. And that wasn't a great example because I, I threw it too early. I kind of forced it to him. But what you'll notice is if they're playing Mabel coverage, it is not a good strategy against this route combo. And the really, you know, there's the tight end will be open. It's just a matter of like he's going to come open at multiple multiple points, right? So it's just a matter of where he comes open. Again, roll out, release him. Maybe release him, release him, release him. There you go. So... This is a really good play. Um, it's actually really good in the red zone, too. There's some ways to make it better uh, in the red zone. But basically, it's kind of the same thing. The only difference is you're going to put the outside guy on a fade route this time instead of a streak. Because um, the fades in the red zone are really, really good. But anyway, and you can always take your back. Like The other thing that you can do, once, you, once, you are, once you're rolling out of the pocket... 
because your running back's on a swing, like if you have him on a swing, right? When I'm in the middle of the field, I can I can pass lead up Watkins, right, when he comes over the middle. So I can pass lead him up here. Then I roll out, and once I roll out, I can actually, and I, I know it's it's not going to sh- – it's not going to make sense with these crazy freaking pass rushers. But I'll try to show you what I'm talking about. So when I roll out with... Uh, when I roll out with Mahomes, right? I'm going to playmaker Watkins when I'm in the middle. So he's going to come over here just like this. And then I'm going to probably playmaker him up. Then I'm going to roll out. They're going to attack me. And I can playmaker up the running back as well. So those are just some things with it that you have to be aware of. But I honestly, guys, like you want to make sure you're sliding to the left because that's going to help with Kelsey. It's going to help him get out more. But realistically, like be looking here. Okay, nothing there. Okay, roll out. And right there, that delay fade. So you'll throw that delay fade a lot more than you think you will. Um, that's a really good play, guys. I mean, this is this is my favorite play right now in Madden, uh, truly. And. Um, if you check the gameplay out, if you check the other tips out that I posted today, you'll see why. But this is what I'll be running tonight on stream. If you want to come by uh, the stream, we're going to stream at 10 o'clock. We'll also be live all day tomorrow for Christmas. So a lot of good stuff. If you want to get the full ebook on the Patriots playbook, just shoot me a text message. My number is 812-216-3644, uh, and I'll shoot you a link. Um, I can also shoot you some sample formations as well. Uh, the sample formations that we have are the ace slot offset, the U trips, and the split close. So all really, really good formations too. And all the sample formations are over three hours in length, um, meaning that the you get three hours of video material on all that stuff. So that's really, really good. The guide, like I said, the guide is over 300 pages long. Uh, over 36 formations are covered in it, over 10 hours of video content. And I'm getting ready to do a major update to it with the latest patch and latest things. that the Madden's getting ready to change a lot uh, just with some of the things that are going to come out in the next week or so. So, um, But Trips tight end is going to remain the best offense. New England's going to remain the best offense. 100% guarantee you that, um, that much so. Uh, just because of everything is going to point to Trips tight end getting better, not Trips tight end getting worse. So I'm excited. Hope you're excited. That's the video. Check us out tonight on stream. If you have any questions till then, just shoot me a text.